What's up, y'all? What it do? Welcome back to Tina Baba All the Way Live. Y'all know Spring Pop Out and Tina Baba Pop Out, and that's on pure. Y'all already know what it is. We at 505 Bayshore Avenue. We here for the Easter extravaganza, y'all. So they got an Easter extravaganza going on. I don't know if it's gonna be some Easter egg. I don't know if money gonna be in eggs, but if it's gonna be money in the eggs, then y'all gonna see me at this event. Gra. Hands on my knees. Hands on my knees. Baby, I'm gonna be on my hands and knees trying to find that gold egg. Cause baby do it got a hundred thousand. Cause that's round about what I need. Shit. Hey y'all, that's about what's gonna be going on. I'm gonna be chilling. Chilling in the background. Just want y'all to know that yeah, that's what we had today. We are at the East Station Rapagansu. Over, I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one Shh. Like, boy, 
Like she just, like she just too fly. Like, come on, be with us. But I'm gay. I'm gonna ask her, what she drinking? All that. Is she straight? Who came with you? Y'all straight? Whatever. Before I even come on that tip. But I just need y'all to get it together. Don't nobody even want to go out with y'all. Y'all always talk about why don't nobody go out no more. Don't nobody want to go out with y'all because y'all don't. Y'all, y'all not no fun. Y'all want to come out. Some of y'all with y'all real Gucci belts. The other y'all with y'all fake Fendi belts. And I want to do perk with your homeboys. But I thought her perks made you horny. So why you leaving with your homeboy on a perk? Because now I'm confused. And very much disturbed. So now I'm like, ladies, wear comfortable heels. Wear comfortable shoes. Heels is not hard to walk in. I've been walking in heels since walking in heels. I know heels is not hard to walk in because I walk in heels. Do you need to buy some comfortable heels? Probably so. Do you need to buy some YSLs or some, no. Baby, don't buy them, you're not ready for them yet. Get you some nice, comfortable heels, some square heels to be exact. Square heels with a square toe. Little bit of this, little bit of that. That's all you need. You work your way up. It's kind of like, you know how like, men don't put the whole thing in at, the, at, at one time, they kind of ease it in a little bit by little bit. Like that, that's how you do with your heels. You put them on little bit by little bit. They get higher and higher, just like your standards. Cause after you get done fucking with a bum, you ain't gonna fuck with now another one, I tell you that. Some more tips for y'all. I'll be right back, I'll be back. I'm gonna tell y'all some more tips. But yeah. What you call them? Oh, etiquette. Proper etiquette. Cause y'all ass ain't got no etiquette. And I be seeing y'all. So let's run it. What's up y'all? So look. To the dirty boys who just get money. I know y'all think it's cute to pop bottles and shit. All right? I bet. I know y'all think it's cute or whatever and make it look like you balling when you buying bottles or whatever. But bitch. Don't get that raggedy ass champagne on my clothes. Or in my case, the lack of clothes. But for other women, they have on their nice dresses, they nice shorts with their white tees on. Don't look. You dirty ass boys. Stop doing dirty ass shit in the club and thinking you stunning on somebody and you're not. You just showing that you dirty. Don't pop your damn bottle and squirt the shit every goddamn well. This is not no motherfucking ball game. We not outside. This shit is not gonna dry up. And if it is, it's gonna be sticky and our clothes gonna be messed up. Do y'all got bitches at home? Cause what's going on? Why y'all ain't got no manners? And I don't like that about y'all. I don't like that about y'all that y'all ain't got no damn manners. And the fact that y'all think having manners is like doing something extravagant. Like a bitch asking you to take your drawers off outside or something. Bitch, just manners. Just think about if your mama was there, would you poke alcohol down your mama tips? No, you wouldn't. So don't do it. Just don't do it. I'm drinking my shit early. Cause it just is what it is. Cause bitch, it's gonna be a motherfucking turn up. You already know what the deal is. But look, let me tell y'all ladies something. I'm gonna tell y'all one time. And y'all may say, Tina Bob, you already said that. I know what the fuck I said. I'm finna say it a damn again. Bitch, if you can't walk in heels, wear some comfortable shoes. You look real motherfucking dirty. You look real trifling. And I don't care, I don't care. Uh, you look real trifling with your shoes in your hand. If you ain't got a man that can lift you up, what is y'all fucking? Oh. Baby, he can't, he can't take you to the club. Baby, that's a little bitty boy. He can't handle the ass. He, he can't handle the ass. The ass is not being handled because he's not literally handling the ass. So, yeah. Would you call them kind of men that will wear your heels and then you put on his tennis shoes till y'all get to the car? What it is, though? Oh, what's up? 
canteen I'm about to get some love. No. And that's on me. Don't ask me where I be at if you ain't invited me to your event. Because y'all love to say, why I ain't come to your event? Why I ain't come to your birthday? Why I ain't come to your... Stop asking me that. Stop asking me that. Stop putting shit on Facebook and saying, why the fuck? Because I don't be. On, I don't live on Facebook. I don't live on Facebook. I don't see that shit. If you ain't told me, I don't know. Stop expecting to tell somebody and then they tell me, I don't even know them people. Why? How you expect them to tell me anything? Them people don't know me and how I'm supposed to know. Y'all, yeah, I always before y'all go out, y'all need to buy the eat. So you can handle your alcohol, so you don't have to worry about nothing of issues. Always go out and get you a good meal. So, yo, so you can start drinking early and you can get your shots in. Our restaurant of choice today is... It's Wimple. So yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm about to eat. Cause it's gonna be a long night. So I hope y'all are ready. I tell y'all my food. And it's good. It's so good. Just a we at Winsel's because let me just let me give y'all some club etiquette, some club rules. Okay, first of all, if you're going out with your man or if you're going out by yourself and you're going out with your home girls and you got a nigga, can you tell that nigga to make sure he feeds you before and after the club? I say what I say. Some of y'all in a relationship and y'all starving. No, I'm not talking about him feeding you no TV dinner at the house. Okay, I do not want him to cook you no Salisbury steak. I want him to take you out to eat, to get a full course meal on your stomach. So when you get some alcohol, you good. I also want him to feed you after the club. Make sure y'all, make sure he take you out to eat and do all the things that he's supposed to do. Treat you like... Be a man about it. Don't let, look, so. Now let me talk to y'all one on one. Don't let no nigga starve you. Y'all be starving before the club. That's why y'all got attitude. And then you want to bump into somebody real damn hard and go and get you something to eat before you lay up with anybody. And that's on period. Go and get you something to eat. Do not let him starve you and fuck you. Uh, girl, y'all going to the hotel, he ain't even fed you. You hungry. How the fuck y'all be fucking on the empty stomach? What can you actually be doing on the empty stomach? Baby, you dehydrated and you hungry. You definitely don't have all your full potential. What he want you to do? Get to the room and pass out? Cause that's how it's gonna happen. Cause you full of cheap alcohol and no food. You malnutritioned and dehydrated. It don't add up. Bruh, take my advice. I never lead you wrong. Listen to your girl. And y'all, I'll talk to y'all when I get big. Oh, we getting ready to pop out. So, y'all, I see y'all tonight. The sun is going down. And this is about to go down. So, yeah, it's 5.30. And so, yeah, it's time to get this party started. Get it rolling. By the time it start, get it together, sir. Get it together. What's up y'all with it? Zula, what it do? What it do? Baby, we dropping gems. We letting y'all look, 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 look. Make him, you gotta go to the mall. You gotta go to the mall. Don't, don't wear them shoes you was wearing last year and the year before that 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 and the year before that. And the year before that. 
you had him for five years, so let him go. It's time to go. Got you a little new. Get you a dress. Dress is not even expensive. Get a little sixty dollar dress. Get you a little dress. Little heels. Y'all ready? That we gonna do. All in the party getting ready. Go get you some shoes. If he don't, if he don't buy you nothing else, make that nigga buy you some shoes. told him no that i was scared y'all because i'm scared of everything because uh, uh anyway so i told him no that i wasn't gonna get on but then i told my assistant to go ahead and tell him that i would come over there and get on the 360 machine i was just so scared to get on the, th the machine because i've been drinking for one all day i have on heels and for some reason i thought the thing spin around or move you in some sort of way so it made me very nervous to do it but i end up doing it and then he go to clip of me on it no stream 